A warm greeting to all for joining in this, the official grand opening of Northampton NETA. <laughs> With overflowing joy and gratitude, I welcome you to the first medical marijuana dispensary in Western Mass. Many of you know that I've had a long history with the health community here in the city. Northampton has always been a leader in innovative public health. With enlightened elected officials, it's been possible to be on that cutting edge of public health services. We've had needle exchange, the first rapid HIV testing, preventive overdose medication Narcan, We've made sure that people receive their needed care, no matter the political pushback. Please share in the pride of this historic day. By opening this dispensary, Northampton has done it again. Thank you, Mayor David Norkowitz, for your leadership and unwavering support for bringing medical marijuana to Northampton. Your administration has been a model of good, responsive government. The staff in every city department was truly enthusiastic and extremely helpful. And Netta has actually helped the mayor too. That's in his TV ratings. <laughs> His community cable TV tour of the Franklin Grove facility and the Northampton dispensary that many of you will get to see was the most watched, even more than his pothole tour. <laughs> so thank you, David. <laughs> and we very much look forward to continuing our work with our new chief, Jody Casper, who inspected our facility. And Jody, the chief, inspected our facility and rated it one of the safest in the city. So we're really happy for that. We are a member of the Chamber of Commerce and see ourselves as an intrinsic part of the business community here in the city, too. We've used local tradespeople in our renovations. Their brains, skill, and brawn built this gorgeous facility. The Fairfield Inn across the street and the Gazette have been wonderful, wonderful neighbors, as has the Senior Center. Thank you, Pat Shaughnessy. And a special thank you, too, to all of the NETA staff. Some are wearing, as you can see, snappy black t-shirts. Many are inside actually already servicing patients. The biggest accolades and thank you must go deservedly to Arnon Vaird, NETA's Executive Director. He's a man of great accomplishment. <laughs> Arnon has a steely reserve. No matter what challenge, he's met it. He's strong, but a gentle soul, and has the good taste to have fallen in love with Northampton, his new adopted city. You'll see him running on our bike paths or debating which is the best coffee place. And Arnon has already made such a difference in the lives of those who have received care at the dispensary. The vet with PTSD, the mother and father who brought their young child with MS, or the young guy with severe anxiety, and soon the thousands who will be coming through our door. Thanks. <laughs> A gift has been given to the people of Northampton and the West, a way to treat so many debilitating symptoms of illness. The time has come. The time has come. The NETA team has undertaken an important and difficult job bringing legal medical marijuana to patients in our state. It has been a long and winding road from passing this law until now. And even now, there are only three dispensaries open in the entire state. 
I speak for all patients in saying thank you to Netta for their hard work to open this dispensary earlier this week, bringing us to this place today. We are so lucky to live here in Western Massachusetts and I am grateful to Mayor Narkowitz and the City Council in Northampton have, for having been so welcoming to New England treatment access. Medical marijuana is not for everyone, but for those of us who need it, or those of us who want to try it when other medicines are not doing the job, we now have a safe, reliable, and legal place to come to get the medicine that provides so much relief to so many. Having this beautiful, legal, licensed medical marijuana dispensary here, and seeing Mayor Nar Narkowitz today, makes it clear that medical marijuana and patients like me no longer have to exist in the shadows. In many cases, our family, our friends, or our health care providers don't know or understand about the need for medical marijuana. Those of us who are registered patients are in a position that is special. Our use of marijuana is legal, and I encourage all of you here to start talking to your doctors, your family members, and your trusted friends. Help dispel the stigma of using this remarkable plant to feel better, to get better, and to do better. And we will have made even more progress. Thank you to New England Treatment Access. Thank you to Mayor Narkowitz. And thank you to all of us, the voters of Massachusetts, who supported the Medical Marijuana Initiative in 2012. Thank you, thank you. It's um, Mayor David Narkowitz, it's great to be here today. Um, some of us wondered if this day would come. Uh, it's been a long and winding process, uh, but I wanted to congratulate uh, New England Treatment Access, obviously Arnon, who was here a minute ago, now he's, <laughs> he's, he's moving around fast on me. Um, and obviously our, our friend uh, Leslie Laurie, who we all know from, from this public health world for so many years, and the entire team for really the the professionalism and the expertise that they've brought to this process pretty much from the moment they first walked into my office two years ago, I think it was, two plus years ago, um, and sat down with then myself and then Chief Sinkowitz to talk about this. And um, I know we don't have any city councilors here, but I really have to also give a huge amount of credit to our city council who who worked you know, with the planning board to develop what I think are, were sensible, common sense zoning regulations, not overreactive, um, but really looked at this issue very thoughtfully. Um, and I think, um, I think we created the model for what zoning should be um, for these issues. So I'm really proud of my colleagues in city government, the city council, for their work on this. And obviously the broader community. I mean, the, the law passed overwhelmingly in Massachusetts back in 2012 in Northampton. Voters approved it. I think it was almost 84 um, percent was the approval rating here in Massachusetts. So we're so uh, happy and grateful that, um, that residents not only in, in our community but across Hampshire County, across western Massachusetts, are going to finally have access to this really important treatment. Um, and so congratulations again, great to be here with you, and uh, wish you success. All right, so hi everybody, and thank you so much for, for coming today. Um, first, I want to thank Mayor Dave Narkovich for his visionary leadership in helping us get to today. And actually, we're gonna get you back here actually for a second. So the first thing we're gonna do, if I can, if I can just grab that, somebody can grab that sign. So. We want, Mayor, for you to be the first person to sign this. So it says, today the dream of patient access to regulated medical marijuana is finally here. Yeah. And I encourage everybody here to sign it. We're going to post it inside the, the dispensary. So we have a bunch of Sharpies. Please uh, sign your name on it. So really, if there's one thing that I want you to take away fr from today, it, it's this. This is just the beginning. So medical research is really just starting to gear up. And doctors are starting to learn more about this. And patients are willing to speak more openly about this. But this is really just the beginning. Now, how are we going to accelerate the rate of change? We're going to do it the way that it always happens, one person at a time. 
when researchers and doctors hear of more patients who are being helped by this medicine, it's going to change. And I think that if patients everywhere in Massachusetts see us today standing here, talking about it, even celebrating it, they're going to hear our message. And our message to them is very, very simple. Medical marijuana is a legitimate medicine. With this change, patients throughout our state will live healthier lives. Now, we have a safe alternative to opiates. People can get back to work or simply be a lot more productive. Anxiety and pain will be reduced and sleep and appetite will come to those who seek it. Listen, marijuana is not a miracle drug. It's not gonna solve everything, but it does perform miracles. Today in Northampton, we're taking the first step to correct what happened in the past. And let me just tell you about what happened just in the first few days that we're here. I had one person come to me and, talk and say, typically I'm in so much pain, but finally last night I had the best sleep of my life. And then he came the next day and said, second night, same thing. <laughs> People will use words like godsend or it's nice to have my life back after all this bad pharmaceutical. So it's, it's just amazing what already happened just in the first few days. Um, so in, in some, together we're making history one patient at a time and together we made this first step ha happen, but this is just the beginning. So thank you everybody for coming.